Hey everyone, it's Lauren Hitch. I am here at 31848 Shell Landing Way in Lewis, Delaware. We are in the Bayfront at Rehoboth community here. And behind me is a beautiful home built in 2017, coming in at 3,800 square foot, a million dollar home here in Lewis, Delaware. It's five bedroom, four bathroom. Let's check it out. Walking in the front door here to this beautiful foyer. I love that this front door has these windows around it too. That's absolutely beautiful, letting some natural light in your foyer area. Let's check out the first room. It's set up as a little seating area. There's two beautiful French doors that you can have closed and open into this room. Now you're gonna see there's a lot of fun accent walls in this house, it's wallpaper. And she, the homeowner actually picked them out herself. They're absolutely beautiful. I love that they're fun colors. We're gonna see more of those. So this is wallpaper behind here and we have some beautiful built-in shelving. There are some cabinet doors at the bottom of the bookshelves too. Really pretty. They've got a desk in here, some fun furniture. It could be a study, an office. They have it set up as a little seating area with a desk. Really good use of this space. Let's check out the living room and kitchen. We're gonna head down this hallway to the kitchen and living room area. There is a nice size storage closet here to my left. We'll come around here to the kitchen. The first thing you're going to notice is this beautiful island. This island actually runs a little over 12 foot. Lovely island here. You can have some stools up here. This is quartz countertop running throughout. And I love the cabinet colors. So we've got slow closed cabinets and drawers, stainless steel appliances. I love this little coffee bar over here. Beautiful backsplash. This tile back here is absolutely stunning. I love the color of it. It's like a dark gray. We have a beverage cooler built in down here. We've got your cooktop. This is a gas, actually a gas cooktop, and then a double oven over here. You're gonna see that same countertop running throughout absolutely stunning and i love the modern light fixtures that are hanging from here very beautiful and then we've got recessed lighting in here so a very bright open kitchen there's a small pantry over here we'll get to a larger pantry in a little bit and then you've got your dining room space over here great size table again another beautiful light fixture hanging let's check out the backyard before we check out the living room walk out to the patio here now there's different multi-level patios here running the whole back of the house. So the back span of the house is coming with lots of patios and I'm gonna show you why we like each one. So this is a screened in patio here. It's got a rug laid down, some nice conversational furniture out here. You can use this if it's still raining out, really nice use of the space. So the next one I'm gonna show you is the homeowner's favorite part of the backyard. Stepping down onto this patio, Really beautiful. I love how they have it set up. These are E.P. Henry pavers out here. And I like that the, there's a couple little wall pieces for additional seating, or you can have plants up there for decoration, whatever you choose. Now, the reason the homeowner says this is her favorite part of the backyard is because the sun actually sets right behind those trees. And that area over there is wetlands maintained by the HOA, so no one can build over there. So your sunset view will never be blocked of another home. This is why she loves this space out here. Let's check out the other patio. All right, this is the second half of the patios back here. Now we just came back through that screened in porch and then you've got this beautiful patio out here. We've got a lovely sectional and a view of your backyard here. Nice size backyard, beautiful evergreen trees again over on this side. We'll come around here to your dining area, if you will. They have it set up with a dining table out here with an umbrella over it, a grill. You could do some grilling out here. Lots of entertaining to be had on all of these patios that are running the backyard space out here. Makes for a beautiful outdoor oasis. Now let's check out the rest of the home. 
We're gonna step back into the living and dining room area with the kitchen. Let's check out this beautiful living room. Now you're gonna notice the cathedral ceilings here make this room look nice and big. Huge open floor plan here. So the living room has these beautiful floor to ceiling windows. I can only imagine the sunlight that comes through here each day. Absolutely beautiful. She has it set up so nice in here with the couches and the two accent chairs and this lovely wall over here. Beautiful built-in shelving. I love the herons that are up on the walls there and this beautiful gas fireplace. It's pumping out some good heat today. It's a little chilly outside and I could just sit here all day. She said her favorite spot is to actually just sit over on this couch with the heat coming off the fireplace and taking in this beautiful backyard view. I would sit here all day too. We're going to check out the bedrooms that are down here and the laundry room as well. Coming off the kitchen, we're going to check out the stuff on this side of the house. The first thing here is going to be a garage. Plenty of space in here for a couple cars, a lot of storage, your bikes, anything that you would want to store in your garage. Great size garage there. We'll come around here and check out your laundry room. The shelf running across there. Nice washer and dryer. And then you have a wash sink in here, which is always convenient in a laundry room. Come around here. Remember I talked about that little pantry earlier in the kitchen? This is a huge pantry, a huge oversized pantry here. You can store all of your kitchen appliances, the countertop kitchen appliances, extra coffee pots, your entertaining dishes, and lots of food in this pantry. And it does close with a door there. Come around the hallway again. We're going to check out this bathroom. We're in the guest bathroom right here. And if you notice again, we're going to see this fun wallpaper. We saw that wallpaper on the accent wall in the first room we saw with the sitting area. This wallpaper actually runs throughout this bathroom. I love it. It's very fun. And she's even got a matching towel over here. I'm obsessed. Great size vanity and mirror light fixture up there. Beautiful shower tub combo. And if you look up there, you're going to see that transom window. It's letting in a lot of natural light. Let's check out the bedroom. Stepping into one of two bedrooms that are down here on the first floor, which is great. You don't have to climb any stairs to get to these two bedrooms. That's awesome. They've got it set up with some furniture in here, a beautiful bed, two large windows overlooking that lovely backyard view, and then you have a closet over here. Let's check out the master suite. Stepping into the master bedroom off of the living room area. Beautiful master bedroom. Absolutely one of the most fun master bedrooms Maddie and I have seen on these home tours. And here's why. We'll start with this accent wall over here. This beautiful vintage wallpaper that they've hung up on the one wall over here. Got pinks and greens, birds, leaves, everything tying in to each other. And then if you look at the other walls, they're a light pink color and the white crown molding. And if you look up to the ceiling, got a tray ceiling. That's going to add some dimension to the room and then that nice fan fixture up there. There's a lot of furniture in here, so it shows you how big this room actually is. There's a desk and a couple dressers, beautiful large windows looking into the backyard again. Absolutely beautiful bedroom, and I love that she's tied the polka dot pillowcases in here with these great lamps. I love that. Let's check out the bathroom. On our way to the master bathroom, we're gonna check out two closets here. There's one on my left and one on my right. The one on my right actually has a transom window up there, so it's gonna let in a lot of natural light. Really great closet. And we're gonna step in here to the master bathroom. Another tray ceiling up here. It's got the pink going on in here, just like the master bedroom. Love that. Switching flooring in here too, really pretty. And two large vanities on my left and my right with mirrors above them. Great size of vanities in here. Come around here to the walk-in shower. And this shower actually has white tile up the sides and on the floor. And there's a seat in here as well. Great walk-in shower. But an even better garden tub over here. Look at this soaking tub. Absolutely beautiful. Got the white tile running up the back again, just like we saw in the shower. And then really beautiful windows here. I could take a lot of baths in there. It looks great. And then your toilet is actually behind this door and there's a linen closet. Let's go upstairs and check out the rest of the bedrooms. 
We're gonna head up this beautiful staircase and check out all the upstairs has to offer. There's three more bedrooms to show you up here, but first let's get started on this fun hangout area. And also this view back down to the original living room area, there's wind is still letting in a lot of natural light. Wind is along the back, but check out this hangout area. There's plenty of possibilities up here. There's some seating, a TV. You could have a spot for the kids to hang out, some game set up, anything like that. Pretty neat little area before we check out the bedrooms. All right, this is the first of three bedrooms up here on the second floor. Lovely windows back there. I love the blue color in here as well. Great pieces of furniture in here. You can tell that this room is actually pretty large beautiful walk-in closet. This thing is huge. I love the closet spaces in this home. They're actually really versatile and a great closet space, not anything small. And then if you check in here, this room actually has a bathroom off of it. Walking into this bathroom, this is actually a Jack and Jill bathroom, but what I think is pretty cool about it is, is each side has their own vanity. So you're gonna see why there's a couple doors here. So large vanity running throughout here, lots of cabinet space and drawers. And also we're switching from carpet to tile in here. Now I'll show you. So obviously you can close in that way and we can close in this way. So that person can have their own privacy and now we're in the other part. There's a toilet with a beautiful window over it, a shower tub combo, and then you're actually gonna have another large vanity over here. Same setup, lots of drawers and cabinets, huge mirror. And again, this can all be closed off. The shower, the toilet, the vanities can all be closed off. Great Jack and Jill bathroom. Let's check out the rest of the upstairs. This room here could be used as a couple different things. You're gonna see Maddie in that mirror. Well, I'll wave to Maddie. <laughs> this room could be used for storage or anything else really. They have it set up with a little desk in here to make good use of the space, but it could definitely just be a storage room up here. Now we're gonna check out this other bedroom. Check out this bedroom up here. It's set up as the kids room, if you will. There's a couple beds. This is a sofa bed over here. Two other large pieces of furniture. You can tell that these rooms up here are great size, great size bedrooms in this home. We've got a great walk-in closet. Again, the closets in here are wonderful. And then you come around here to the bathroom. How convenient is it off of the kids' room to have a bathroom? This is wonderful. Great vanity over here. We've got the toilet, a shower tub combo, and the cutest little fox stool ever in here. Again, switching from that carpet to the tile. Great bathroom. Before we head out of this room, I do want to show you there is storage space behind here. So this is an attic, and there is actually great storage space up here. Close this. Check out the last room on our stop up here. Back in our hangout room here before we check out the last room. Check out this beautiful view of your front door down there to your foyer and your beautiful view out there. I love the windows that they've put up here. A lot of natural light coming in this home and I'm a big fan of that. This is the last room on our tour here. It's set up as an office, but because there is a huge walk-in closet, and I'm, I'm talking huge walk-in closet in here, it is considered the fifth bedroom up here. I love this modern fan, really cool feature. Nice little office in here, but what makes it even better if it was an office or a bedroom is this balcony. Let's check it out. Love this second floor balcony up here. She's got it set up with a couple chairs out here, but I love that you can see this the beautiful community that's here in Lewis. And if you look to, there's a beautiful wooden walking bridge over there. Absolutely stunning views from this balcony. What a beautiful home built by the Shaw Brothers here on this half acre lot in Lewis, Delaware. Now, a couple great things about this community. First thing, about five or six houses down, you're gonna see that beautiful bay view. So you can totally walk there each night. I know I would, and get that bay view in down there. Some other amenities that are here include a pool, clubhouse, fitness center. There's plenty of walking area up here and grass cutting is also included. We want to thank Julie with the Julie Gritton team with Coldwell Banker Premier for showing us this beautiful home today. Thank you so much for watching. Del Marva Home Show is brought to you by Furniture and More, Paul Davis Restoration and Home Remodeling, Tyndall's Casual Furniture, All Exteriors, and Baths by Spicer Brothers.